The Israeli army, officially known as the Israeli Defense Forces, stands as one of the most formidable military forces in the world today. Packed with a potent combination of strategy, technology, and sheer tenacity, the IDF has etched its name in the annals of global military power. But what exactly sets the IDF apart? What are the elements that fuel its strength and prowess? The answer lies in an intriguing blend of factors that range from advanced technology and urban warfare expertise to specialized forces, state-of-the-art air units, armored divisions, and a robust intelligence network. Each of these factors, when pieced together, paints a comprehensive picture of Israel's military might. This powerhouse is not just about brawn, but also about brains. Not just about firepower, but also about tactical finesse. So are you ready to uncover the IDF's secrets? Let's delve into the factors that make the IDF a force to be reckoned with. One key strength of the IDF lies in their advanced military technologies. In the landscape of modern warfare, technology plays a pivotal role. It's not just about the size of the army, but about the quality of their tools. The IDF understands this, and has made significant strides in developing cutting-edge military technology. Consider drones, for instance. These unmanned aerial vehicles are the eyes and ears of the IDF, providing real-time surveillance and reconnaissance and in some cases striking capabilities. They allow the IDF to monitor potential threats and respond rapidly, ensuring the safety of their personnel and civilians. Then, there's the missile defense systems, like the Iron Dome. This marvel of engineering has been a game-changer in neutralizing imminent threats. When a rocket is launched towards Israel the Iron Dome's radar detects it, computes its trajectory, and if the rocket poses a threat, an interceptor missile is launched to neutralize it in mid-air. This technology has saved countless lives and continues to be a critical part of Israel's defense strategy. Let's not forget about cyber warfare capabilities. In today's digital age warfare is not just confined to the physical battlefield. Cyber threats are very real and can cripple a nation's infrastructure, disrupt communications, or compromise sensitive information. The IDF recognizes this and has heavily invested in developing robust cyber warfare capabilities. They have dedicated units for cyber defense, constantly working to protect their networks and data, and if necessary, launch offensive operations against potential threats. In essence, the IDF's commitment to technological innovation reflects their understanding of modern warfare's dynamics. They recognize the need to stay ahead of the curve and adapt to changing circumstances. Every drone that flies, every missile defense system that intercepts a threat, and every cyber defense operation that thwarts an attack is a testament to their relentless pursuit of technological superiority. These technological advancements give the IDF a significant edge in the battlefield. The IDF's expertise in urban warfare and their elite special forces units form another pillar of their strength. Urban warfare by its very nature is a complex and challenging field. It's a battlefield where traditional military tactics often fall short, a place where every building can conceal a threat, every alley can be a trap. This is where the IDF excels, turning challenges into opportunities. Their strategy relies heavily on the element of surprise, stealth, and meticulous planning. They've mastered the art of navigating through the urban jungle, using it to their advantage, and minimizing collateral damage. In the heart of this urban warfare strategy, we find the elite special forces units. Israel's special forces are among the most respected and feared in the world, and two units stand out in particular. Sayeret Matkal and Shayatet 13. Sayeret Matkal, often compared to the U.S. Army's Delta Force, is Israel's premier special forces unit. These soldiers are trained to perform high-risk missions, often deep within enemy territory. They gather intelligence, carry out assassinations and perform hostage rescue missions. Their operations are shrouded in secrecy but their successes are well known. Then we have Shayatet 13, the Israeli equivalent to the US Navy SEALs. This maritime commando unit is tasked with a range of missions from counterterrorism to hostage rescue at sea. They are known for their ability to strike swiftly and silently, often operating under the cover of darkness to catch their enemies off guard. Both of these units, like the IDF as a whole, are shaped by a relentless pursuit of excellence and a deep understanding of the unique challenges they face. They are not just soldiers they are problem solvers, always adapting, always prepared for the next challenge. These specialized units and tactics allow the IDF to operate effectively in a variety of challenging scenarios. 
Their success is not merely a testament to their skills and courage, but also a reflection of Israel's commitment to safeguarding its people, its land, and its future. The Israeli Air Force and armored units are key components of their military might. In the skies the Israeli Air Force or IAF reigns supreme. They are equipped with the most modern fighter jets including the formidable F-16 and the stealthy F-35. These machines of war are not just marvels of engineering, but also testaments to the skill and precision of the pilots who fly them. The IAF's history is replete with successful aerial operations that have turned the tide of battles and in some cases, entire wars. But let's not forget the armored units, the steel-clad guardians of the ground. The crown jewel of Israel's armored corps is the Merkava tank. This beast of a machine is not just any tank, it's a product of Israel's own ingenuity and engineering prowess. The Merkava, which means chariot in Hebrew, has been designed with a focus on crew survivability. Its engine is placed in the front, providing an additional layer of protection for the crew compartment. The tank's advanced design also includes a high-efficiency air conditioning system, a necessity in the scorching desert heat, and modular armor that can be configured to meet specific mission requirements. The Merkava is also equipped with a trophy active protection system, which can intercept and destroy incoming projectiles before they reach the tank. This high-tech shield, combined with the tank's heavy armor and powerful weaponry, makes the Merkava one of the most formidable armored fighting vehicles on the battlefield today. So, we have the IAF patrolling the skies with their advanced fighter jets, and the armored corps holding the ground with their heavily fortified Merkavas. These two forces, each formidable in their own right, combine to form a potent one-two punch that can deal with threats from any direction. They are the sword and shield of Israel, always ready to defend their homeland against any who would dare to threaten it. The combined strength of the IAF and armored units contribute significantly to the IDF's dominance. They are a testament to Israel's commitment to technological innovation, tactical brilliance, and unwavering determination in the face of adversity. The IDF's emphasis on intelligence gathering and analysis is a crucial aspect of their military strategy. This isn't just about knowing your enemy's next move, it's about understanding their motivations, their capabilities, and their potential vulnerabilities. And for the IDF, intelligence isn't a side operation, it's at the core of their military strategy. Let's delve into how this intelligence gathering works. It's a multifaceted process involving both high-tech and human elements. On the high-tech side, we have things like satellite imagery, signal interception, and cyber intelligence. These can provide valuable information about enemy movements, communications, and infrastructure. On the human side, there's what's known as HUMINT, or human intelligence. This is gathered from sources on the ground, often in dangerous and high-stakes situations. It can provide a level of detail and nuance that technology alone can't capture. But gathering the information is only half the battle. The real challenge lies in the analysis, making sense of the vast amount of data and turning it into actionable insights. This requires a deep understanding of the region, the players involved, and the complex dynamics at play. It's a skill that's honed over years of training and experience, and it's something the IDF prides itself on. There have been numerous instances where intelligence has played a key role in IDF operations. One notable example is Operation Orchard in 2007, where Israeli intelligence discovered a secret nuclear reactor in Syria. The IDF was able to launch a successful airstrike, effectively neutralizing the threat before it could become operational. This focus on intelligence allows the IDF to strategize and act with precision, contributing to their overall military superiority. It's a reminder that in today's complex and rapidly changing world, brute force alone isn't enough to secure victory. You need to have the right information at the right time and the ability to act on it effectively. And that's something the IDF has mastered. In conclusion, the Israeli Defense Force's strength lies in a combination of advanced technology, specialized tactics, and a strong focus on intelligence. This isn't just a statement. It's a testament to the IDF's prowess and resilience. From the cutting-edge drones and missile defense systems like Iron Dome, to their expertise in urban warfare and counter-terrorism operations, Israel has shown time and again that they're prepared for any threat. And let's not forget about their special forces units such as Sayeret Matkal and Shayatet 13, who specialize in covert operations and intelligence gathering. The Israeli Air Force equipped with modern fighter jets and their armored corps with the Merkava tank stand ready to defend their nation. But perhaps the secret ingredient in this potent mix is their emphasis on intelligence gathering and analysis. 
This holistic approach is how they defend against attacks from entities like Hamas. It is these factors that make the IDF one of the most powerful military forces in the world today.